I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money! How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I worked my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana, eh? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotch of Prado told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. All right, so chapter seven, a hangover, something, something. We didn't read it in time. 1.15 p.m. Monday. So I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. Back to the favela. Actually, I shouldn't say back to the favela. The first time to the favela. Looks a lot like MW2. <laughs> right? I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now was being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it was glitching, I think. Get lost, kid. Speak English? Uh huh, falo sim, sem problema. I need to know if you've ever seen this girl, Fabiana. Come here for a second, look at her. I know lots of girls, sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? É isso. Jesus. I have a feeling this is going to be a trap. This way, come on. At least I had found myself a tour guide. Crazy things they can do and make kids do in this. Oh, I guess not. I thought it was going to be like that for a second, but I don't think so now. The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself, grasping at some desperate delusion of control? Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. All right, the so dance party is here. How can they afford this? I had stumbled into some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a streetwalker in a monastery. <laughs> What do you need, guys? What do you need? What uh, are you doing here? I'm you. Easy, pal. Easy. Ah, então. Você é americano de merda. Uh, look, I didn't mean any offense. Me dá só uma razão para eu não te matar, seu americano burro. Uh, uh, desculpa, amigo. Por favor. 
passa tudo que você <laughs> I stole my fucking glasses, that dick. Go back. This, these guys are about to get fucked up in a second. Não, hein? Passa aqui. Dá logo. Dá logo. Da puta. Valeu, mano. Bem-vindo à favela Nova Esperança. Agora não, fora daqui. All things considered, I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. That's okay, they'll get what uh, is coming to them. I'm sure First of it. First day off the sauce and somehow I'd still ended up in the gutter. I was just seeing if there's anything back here. It doesn't look like it, so... Whatever, let's continue on. We're in the shit pool. This is the uh, fucking. This is disgusting. Look at this thing. They just throw all their trash down there. Sheesh. I need a fucking gun. If there was one thing I'd learned since I've been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, it was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. Look <laughs> at those kids playing soccer. Oh, that guy just did the fucking splits. Alright, whatever. Let's continue. Desculpa, uh, olá. Fala inglês. Uh, I'm a little lost. Perdido? Onde uh, estou? Está no lugar errado, rapaz. Ah, não compreende. Uh, I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. A gente não é centro de informação turística, não. Well, they weren't going to help me. And who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. That's all right. We can do this. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. Uh. These guys have anything to say if we can talk to them. No, they're just gonna walk away. This looks like something over here. A little gate that we can open. Maybe. Come on now, these guys aren't smart enough to lock this shit. We got something right here though, see if we can talk to these guys. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco, with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dudling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm, uh... Looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired my wife, she said I had to do something. And well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. Hey, granted, Steel ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I've seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman, about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I, 